Welcome back folks to Let's Replay Action 52, and when last we left off we saw many epic tales. Ninja Steve's attempt to leave the ninjas and become an Olympic athlete, Skier James and his attempt to avoid trees, and the continuing saga of Daphne vs the generic army. We even finished one of the games, Mousetrap. It's time to move on to game 29, Spidey. Level 1. We are a red spider, and we need to get all of these flies that are trapped in our web. That's pretty much it. It's very much like Mousetrap, except it's flies. And we are trying to avoid various other critters that aren't caught in our web. We can move very quickly, however. And that's to our advantage, though I imagine all of the other critters are going to move even faster as time goes on. Some of them are rather tricky to see, especially the blue one. But we were victorious. This might be a very quick game. I'm surprised this spider is able to keep this uh, web so intact. Speaking of remaining intact, we didn't remain intact there, as the thing from other games about being too close to the edges of the screen remains true in this one, because enemies will appear out of nowhere. We were victorious, however. Time to get some more flies. I wonder what the flies are saying right now. Probably nothing, because they're flies, and flies cannot talk, and some of these insects are moving really quickly. If you saw an insect moving that fast, you'd be quite scared of it, especially if there was a swarm of them. That would be a very fast swarm. Let's try, whoop, nope, we cannot, because that one just uh, strafed into us and we perished. Let's see if we can, uh, this is actually a lot harder than uh, Mousetrap because it's not just right to left and left to right that the opponents move. They also go up to down and down to up. And some of them are very difficult to see. Let's get uh, all of these very quickly. We completed level seven. We are getting close to the end. There are only two more levels, but we have only two more lives. So let's try our best to uh, grab all of these. Oh, close there. Very close. If we can get to, there we go. And we were just about to perish there, but because we grabbed the fly, we were able to get to the next level. We actually were perishing. The uh, death animation had begun, but that doesn't matter. It did there though. There are less flies to grab, but unfortunately they are scattered everywhere. And so close to victory, yet so far, the spider failed. Close though. Let us move on to the next game, which is Appleseed. I remember this one. We're meant to grab things as they fall, but not the green apples. That makes us really angry. We don't like the color green. We only like red. Need to be very careful. Fortunately, we can uh, miss the red apples as much as we like, as long as we don't accidentally catch a green apple. You don't want to know what happens if a green apple accidentally ends up in the uh, bunch for sale. It's chaos, madness, riots in the street, anarchy. Nobody likes the green apples. No one. That or maybe, uh, the person here just gets a bit annoyed. One or the other, maybe he's specifically selling red apples. And if he has to sell a green apple, he has to go through 17 forms and fill them out in triplicate. Who can say what's going on in this dystopian future where he has to collect apples that fall out of the trees? He doesn't go to pick them up by uh, getting them from the tree himself. No, he waits for them all to fall. Imagine all of these apples falling at this speed. If enough of them hit your head, that would really hurt. Oh, narrowly avoided that one. And sometimes they fall at diagonals because the wind gets them. I don't know why the wind doesn't get all of them. It just got that one there. But that tells me that soon the green apples are going to start uh, doing that, and that's not going to be good. Also, slowly there are more and more green apples, and the green apples do fall faster. I wonder if we have to uh, actually get them in the basket, or if it's fine that they just... Yep, they can touch our head, and that's fine. They go through our head and go into the basket. That is the power of the apple collector. Be careful. Oh, 
we are really threading the needle a bit too much here. Really should be going for the uh, easier fruit. I think I've done that about three or four times now. I think it's because it's on a loop. I really think it is. Is it only a select um, amount of things falling and then it just repeats? I think that's what's going on here. So if I can find a place in the level where no green apples will actually fall, then I'm perfectly safe. Let's test this theory out and wait here. This is where my theory is entirely disproved, and we just got a round that was extremely unlikely. Yeah, it seems like my theory has been completely disproved. But standing here appears to be relatively safe. There we go. Just need to avoid a few apples here. You know, there's going to be a mountain of apples that we need to uh, deal with after we've uh, gone through these levels. Or maybe they just fall off the screen and into utter oblivion. Uh-oh! Why did you do that? Triplicate forms, Kiko! Triplicate! I'm sorry. And now I think we have a uh, different cycle completely, and it appears to be a little easier. I doubt that's the game going, hey, you lost a life, we'll cut you a break. Very unlikely. Level but we have finished level four. Level five. Time for the fifth level, where we are introduced to the blue apples. Do not ever pick up a blue apple. Terror awaits. I may be kidding, by the way. I don't think they're going to introduce blue apples. I think there will only be more of the green apples. And more difficult red ones. Need to be careful here. Then again, we're not doing too badly here. Watch out! Apples are about. Level, Level 5 complete. Not doing too badly so far. But then again, I said that about the Spidey game, and I ended up losing. Look at all of these green apples. They are everywhere. You really should start thinking about selling green apples in a more effective manner. There are loads of them, after all. Oh, careful. Want to be careful. It's actually difficult to focus on the screen and uh, keep your eyes on all of the apples. There are so many of them. Oh, careful. And it's difficult to keep track of the uh, green apples when they uh, get to the part with the grass, because the green is very similar. Careful. I am the master at collecting apples that fall from trees. Also, notice that uh, none of the apples on the trees are actually green. Where are the green apples coming from? Is there somebody at the top of the trees throwing green apples from a magic bag at us? Aha! I will foil your enterprises by throwing you green apples. <gasps> green Apple Gary, what are you doing here? I am the one who foils all Apple Enterprises. Yours will be no different. What are you actually doing up in that tree? Well, I'm kind of stuck here. Would you help me down? No! You're going to ruin my Apple Enterprise! Well, I'll, I'll throw apples at you if you don't! You're going to throw apples at me anyway! A good point. A good point. We're on level 8! I didn't even notice that we got so close to the end of this one! Is this going to be one that we're going to finish? Maybe! Maybe! Though we are navigating a literal minefield of green apples here. Maybe he's angry because they do explode on him. That would make sense. And unfortunately, our efforts have ended in failure. His business went out of business. And now we must move on to the next game. No longer are we on Appleseed, we're on Skater. Level one. Level one. Look at how cool this man is in the post-apocalyptic future where all roads are covered by sleeping cats, balls, and stereo systems. The signs keep telling him to stop, but nobody stops. Dangerous Davros. Yes, the descendant of the explorer Davros. Look at his skateboarding prowess. His actual name isn't Davros, that's his middle name. People call him Davros because of his connection with the Ancient Explorer. His name is actually Phil. There's someone waving going, No! Davros, don't keep skating! You know the doom will await you! Davros doesn't care, though. He is too cool. Way too cool! 
You know, if a car actually tried to drive down this road, you wouldn't get very far. At all. So many stop signs, so many pyramids of sand, and the water rises ever higher. This music is way too tense for what's happening. We are literally skating down a road. Way too tense. You know, you do have some more laid back tunes. There are loads of people waving at us. We clearly must be the coolest person ever. I wonder if we have to actually grab these. We have to actually grab these. I've been trying to avoid them. But we can't grab them. If we uh, get in contact with a uh, ball, we just fall unceremoniously onto the road in a heap. So we need to grab all of these uh, boom boxes. Let's do so. And I imagine we have to avoid the cats. So that's what we're meant to be doing. And I mistakenly collided with that. It does look like something you're meant to grab. But I should only grab these. It's the only thing I'm allowed to grab. Don't make any more mistakes here, or else you'll be failing the legacy of Davros. Fortunately, we can go down here and be quite safe. I wonder how many of these we need to pick up before we get to level 2. I wonder how much more difficult this is going to get. Are we going to face other people on skateboards? Maybe. There's another one of them. We'll pick that up. And carry on down the post-apocalyptic highway. There are really loads of cats in the post-apocalyptic future. They're just sort of lying around, keeping warm. I'm not grabbing that one. That one is a trap. I'd probably hit the cat as well. Here we go. A few more. I've no idea how many we need to grab. Uh, the answer appears to be way too many. We'll avoid that one. Aha! Level 2. Is the music going to be less sinister this time round? Yes, though we are going a lot faster. Which means that inevitably we're going to collide with a cat, aren't we? Most likely. Be careful. Very careful. How was I meant to get through there without threading the needle well in advance? I've no idea. But we failed. Let's try our best not to fail again, shall we? We'll grab this. We'll grab... Oh, no. And careful, careful. There we go. We survived. That's the important thing. And I risked getting that one. That was dangerous. Very dangerous. As we skate ever faster. We can get past that one quite safely, though. Look at all of them there. We'll grab all of them. And yes, hitting the cat does cause us to fall. The cat is fine, though. The cat is made of catium. It is, of course, impervious. We're going to move on to Sunday Drive. Oh, Sunday Drive. Level I know this one. We are driving. Segerville! Next exit! Guess what? We are never going to find the next exit. I can imagine the person on my left there is constantly talking about the fact that there is no exit to Segerville. They were desperate to get to Segerville. Little did they know that the way to Segerville is a kind of purgatory, which you can never escape. We have to avoid all of these vehicles. If we hit the vehicles, we're fine, however. The airbags activate. The car is pretty much wrecked, but we are fine. There is no getting off this road, though. No getting off it at all. Segerville is indeed the next exit. Maybe the next exit is a hypothetical one. A journey rather than an objective. The journey to Segerville is eternal and in your heart. Level two. I wonder if there actually is a place called Segerville. I do doubt it. Also, this music is way too tense for driving to Segerville. Need to be very careful here. All these other cars are veering around completely at random. To be fair, we're also veering around completely at random. Maybe they just saw us and went, hey, that's the way to drive, and then started driving like we were. Our car is quite unique. There isn't a car like this on the road. Perhaps we are the ones destined to eventually escape these roads and get to Segerville. Also, those signs are way too close together. Normally those signs would be every couple of miles. 
but that appears to be every couple of hundred meters. They really want to let you know that Sagaville is the next exit. This may very well be one of those games that I am able to finish. We shall see. I think it's going a little bit faster, though. Sagaville next exit. It's still the next exit. It would be interesting if there was a completely different sign at one point. But no. No signs on the left, by the way. Just some uh, traffic lights that are always on green. Because why wouldn't they be on green? The traffic is brilliant. There are barely any cars on the road. Because barely anyone dares to go to Sagaville. We can uh, drive very uh, quickly to the left and right. Our turning is really good. And we're able to keep a consistent speed throughout. If there are speed cameras here, we are accumulating about 50 speeding tickets a second, I imagine. If we even get to Sagaville, it's going to be a very costly journey. Or maybe the speed cameras are, much like the journey, only in our mind and hearts. No, it's likely there are tons of speed cameras. Maybe those aren't traffic lights. Maybe they are speeding cameras. And now, more people are veering randomly. As we get closer to Sagaville, people slowly lose... Oh, and we crashed. But fortunately, we're fine. And we have a couple of cars spare. Or there are some handy people that can fix up the car perfectly. Or there's something in the boot that fixes up the car. Oh, looks like we crashed the car on the way to Sagaville. Time to activate the auto repair. You have only limited auto repair left. Are you sure you want to continue to Sagaville? I'm going to Sagaville! It's been my objective my entire life. My father went to Sagaville, and my father's father, and my father's father's cousin went to Sagaville. Their dog actually got lost in Sagaville. That's why they keep trying to go to Sagaville. But they never come back. It is my duty. My destiny to make it to Sagaville. Again, I'm thinking way too hard about Sunday Drive. Loads of people are veering now. Need to be very careful. Maybe we won't make it to Sagaville. Really trying to make it to Sagaville. There's not really going to be any reward for it, of course. There never is much of a reward. I think only the last game has any sort of, hey, you did it! But I've never actually completed the last game. Gotta be careful here, we can move forward. We can move forward and back, which is probably going to be important as we continue this all-important Sunday drive. You can only try and make it to Sagerville on a Sunday. Also, I barely touched that. But to be fair, I should have anticipated that the hitbox would be a lot bigger and a lot more finicky than I thought it was. Got to be careful, we only have two more attempts to make it to Sagerville. We have got past level 5 though. Chances are still not good. We will continue. The music does get sinister. This way? Oh! Should have just moved forward instead. Alas, one more attempt. Can we do it? Possibly not, but I'm still going to try. Otherwise, it will be the task of this driver's son to try and make it to Sagaville. I imagine the dog probably isn't still there, though, unless Sagaville is a place where time does not flow. Could very well be. Nobody's ever come back from Sagaville after all. We'll just keep moving, being very careful. Maybe I can use this final life and breeze to- nope, never mind. The quest for Sagaville is over. I think we'll try one more. We will move on from Sunday Drive to Star Evil. Level one. Here we go. Ah, I recognize this ship. It's the one that um, Daphne was fighting against. Maybe Daphne has commandeered one of them and put some weaponry on it. And now we are fighting the generic army once more. Go, Daphne. Go and fight and zap everything. It's a good thing that you were able to change the color scheme of the vessel. So just in case you found people that were allied with you, they wouldn't suspect that you were a um, member of the generic army. Though unfortunately, I imagine with you, uh, that was a really short level. 
I imagine with you uh, putting the weaponry on, you were uh, unfortunately unable to maintain the invulnerability that the uh, ships had. Also, I doubt we can collide with these uh, walls, but our opponents have no problems flying over them. Another downside of uh, putting weaponry on the ship, I imagine. We need to be very careful. Very careful. Because we don't want to fail here. We need to uh, be very particular about what we can and cannot collide with. Did you, uh, did you expect to uh, lose a life if you hit those uh, crane things? Because I certainly did. We're through level 2 though. Time for level 3. We're moving faster. If there was one thing that I knew the game would do is, uh, well, we exploded, is that the game would make it so that we moved faster the further we got through. That was to be expected. We're likely not going to get to uh, the end of this one. Though we have got to the end in uh, more of the games than I thought we would. We were very close with Appleseed. Let's just try and avoid the uh, enemy ships. Maybe we're just trying to escape now. We've realized that the generic army can't be stopped. And so Daphne has decided to uh, escape and warn her allies of this. But then again, we have established that she pretty much is a one-person army. So uh, maybe that's not the case. Maybe she's just trying to escape. There's a wormhole leading to another galaxy that the generic army can't uh, pursue her through. I'm still thinking way too hard about this Daphne versus the generic army plot. Definitely thinking way too hard about this. I imagine the next level is going to have us moving even faster. We should only fire when we need to. None of these uh, ships are uh, firing on us, which is quite fortunate. If they were, this would be even more difficult. I shouldn't have gone that way. I realized it only after I went that way that that was a terrible mistake. Let's keep going, shall we? We have no choice unless we were to reset everything. Forward we go. And I wasn't expecting you to move back uh, into us. We have only one more repair, which we have used. And that was very close already. The NES uh, Action 52 has um, levels in some games where you can literally die at the very beginning. So in some ways, this is a lot better, because it's very difficult to die immediately at the start of any of these games. You'd have to try really hard to do so. So that is an improvement. That is a sign that there was more playtesting. I don't think there was enough playtesting, and unfortunately, we have perished. Once again, the generic army has triumphed. And when we come back, folks, we will move away from Star Evil to Air Command. Do you get the feeling that quite a few of these games are shooters of the space or the plane variety? You'd be absolutely right in thinking that, because I imagine Air Command is just that. And maybe Shootout is. And maybe Bombs Away is as well. But once we get past them, we're on the easy games. And the end will finally be in sight, though it will still be a substantial distance away. And so, when we come back, folks, Air Command, game number 34. Will I complete this one, or will it elude me once more? Victory, that is. We'll find out. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.